welcome to another video. For today, of course, we have a happy mail haul and it has been quite a while since I filmed any sort of haul. It's been at least a few months, so I have quite a bit to go through today and I have a feeling this is going to be a long haul, so I hope you have a snack or a drink. Um, I think moving forward, my plan is going to be to start to do monthly hauls Sometimes I start to accumulate so much happy mail that it becomes really daunting to film these videos, but I think if we break it up into smaller chunks and just do it on a monthly basis, it might be a bit easier for me to film, you know, potentially for you to watch a shorter video. Um, I know some of you really do like longer videos, but I think in terms of like filming and, you know, having content that is probably more relevant, it will just be a better, you know, situation all in all. So let's dive in. We have a ton to get through today, so hope you're ready. First up is an order from Sadie Stickers. This is the freebie that came with the order with some really pretty florals. I'm sure that that has changed now just because that is pretty long ago that we got that. And I believe this was part of a $2 Tuesday. So I picked up a, a few different items. This was part of a group order that I ordered with some of my other planner friends. So first up, I really loved this like daisy collection that she had and I have a kit coming up uh, soon that I'll be filming for the spring since I'm so far behind in plan with me's um, but that this deco will be perfect for so first up we have the daisy cluster deco and this is in gold and it does look like this is a bit of a warmer gold I feel like I remember Alicia talking about switching her gold foil so this might not be the foil that she has in shop anymore but this is more of a like hotter gold so we have the Daisy Cluster Deco, and then we also have it in Hollow, which I thought was really pretty. And this one in particular was for the kit that I had in mind, so that's why I got it in Hollow. The gold I think I just thought was really pretty, and I like to have all of the gold stuff. So then we have the Daisy Dotted Divider, which again, really pretty, and I love that the daisies are kind of scattered at different points in the banner. So gives you, you know, some variety to work with. And I got that in hollow as well. It looks like it's just silver based on my lights, but I promise you it is hollow. We also got the Daisy Mini Garlands, which again, you have a variety of lengths and then the daisies are placed at different points uh, in the garland, which is really pretty. And then we have that in hollow as well. And then I stocked up on a few of these mini months sheets. I go through months so quickly, so I decided to pick them all up in the various foils. Recently, I've just been doing black scripts for all of the monthlies at the top, but I decided, you know, there's some times when I do really want to have the foiled month script as well. So here we have the mini months, and you do get two full sets of like, the, the full year here. So these are the mini months in rose gold. And then I have two of those, just thinking like, if this gets you like two full years, you have kind of four months or four weeks on average in a year. So that's why I wanted to have two sheets of each of the foils. That was my logic here. So now I'll have four Januaries, four Februarys, four Marches, for example. So we have the rose gold, we have the silver and then the gold. Perfect. So those are the mini months. And then I also decided to do the same thing with just like the regular months. These are a little bit larger. The size isn't like that much bigger, but just like nice. So here's a comparison you can see here, like it's just ever so slightly bigger. Uh, but sometimes you just want that. And you know, I use a variety of different planners. So I like to have a variety of sizes based on kind of what fits up at the top. So with these, because you only have one full year, I wanted to make sure I had four of each of the months. So that's why I picked up four sheets of each of them. So we have the rose gold, the silver, so pretty. This foiling is amazing. And then of course the gold. I do tend to prefer more of a light gold, but this is quite pretty and it is like 
it's not like a true hot gold where it almost leans to like the green side this is a very pretty gold like I'm, I'm not saying that I don't like it just because it's hot gold it is like a very nice gold so really enjoyed that and then the very last thing that I picked up were these long um, daisy garlands kind of thinking along you know the top around the date covers or potentially maybe along the bottom washi or you can cut these up and use them across full boxes or whatever throughout your spread but i only picked this up in hollow um, because i do have a specific kit in mind for this i probably should have got the gold as well but i just decided to pick it up in hollow for now so that is everything that i picked up from sadie stickers Next up, I have a really fun order here. This is from Paper Kumiko, and I've never shopped with her shop before, but she reached out to me on Instagram and asked if she could send me some stickers that she thought that I would like, um, and then I could just like share it here. So I thought I would show you guys. I just told her, um, you know, I do a variety of different planning from like functional to decorative. So I was open to whatever she wanted to send me uh, and that I would, you know, pass it along if it was something that I wouldn't personally use but I wanted to share you guys or share this with you guys because she sent me some really really cute things that I think a lot of different planner styles would enjoy them so first up we have these little recycle characters which I don't know I don't generally mark recycling in my planner even in my functional planner I don't so I'll probably be passing those on but like how cute are these little lovey characters super cute really like whimsical and fun I love the coloring that we have here with some like you know brighter pastels like this little froggy is so cute and I love the kitty too so really fun I don't know if this is like a specific character to her shop but it is really really cute there you have the stacked ones I guess you could use it also as some sort of like list or just for like decorative journal spreads etc this one is so perfect i love the painting nails ones you guys know i'm obsessed with getting my nails done this is something that i do on the regular so love to have these and i will just say her paper is very very nice it's almost like a thicker like vinyl paper um but really nice um really high quality like the printing is gorgeous the colors are super vibrant here we have a bit of a different sheet and you can see here the sizing is quite a bit smaller which I tend to lean towards more of these like smaller sizes but again depending on the planner that you're using the size of it you know it's nice to have a variety of different um, sizes and stickers to pick from so this is more about shopping so all of the different characters have their shopping bags this one here says like retail therapy and then we have some shop till you drop scripts which are really cute Sorry, I had to take a drink there for a minute. My voice is already going and we just started the haul. Um, so I am gonna flip through a few more of these sheets just so you get an idea of the different styles that she has. I love these little character flags. I think these are perfect. And then we have some of these are a little bit larger. So like I was saying, like depending on the size of your planner, like it might be relevant for you to pull in a sticker this size versus something like this. Actually, I guess these are, you know, fairly close in size, but these just like feel a lot bigger to me. And then there's a few stickers in here that she's done maybe in like collaboration with different artists. Like this one here says color soup. These are more of like an illustrative character sticker. And then we've got some like really pretty florals. So you can see like in her shop, she has a really diverse like range of stickers. These are super pretty. I love the like coffee house vibes that we have going on. We have some like fashion dolls. I see a lot of people pull these into like a sidebar situation and just like pick a doll that's like really relevant to their spread or just kind of matches. And I really love that these have like a sketchy feel to them and that they don't have faces. I don't know, I feel like that seems like really artistic and I know a lot of people don't like to have faces in their planner, so you know might be for you if you're interested i love these i think this is my favorite sticker sheet in the entire order um these have like almost a comic book feel to them or like a polaroid i just think they're really pretty and so neutral so i love those then we have some food stickers this is again by that color soup artist so a bit more of a like illustrative feel to them 
really fun like retro items. Then we have some like little astronaut here. That's really cute. And then some various like food and sweets. And then another sheet with a fashion girl, which is really cute. I love this outfit. And that is everything. So that was my gift from Paper Kumiko. I think she's so cute and I love the variety of different stickers. So I will definitely leave a link to her shop below in case you're interested to, in checking them out. I think it's always really fun to try a new shop. So highly recommend. I think the quality is amazing and I just love the variety. I think that's so fun. Next up, we have a small order here from Sugarbox Stickers. First up, you get this journaling card, which is really cute. And then just a little note on the back. And then my order did come with some freebies. So this was the April All Orders freebie. So you can tell this has been a while. And then this was the $30 order freebie with a lot of her really pretty scripts. I love her font. So this was just a really small, like boring order, um, but it was functional. It was like really what I needed were these index cards. So I am planning on redoing my entire sticker storage. I've seen a lot of people organize into these um, like acrylic containers and then use these dividers to just like separate their collections. So I wasn't sure how many I would need and shipping to Canada is quite expensive. So I just bought the max allowable amount. Um, I think it was 10, maybe 10 or 11 packs of these. So hopefully that should be good. And I bought an acrylic um, container um, that hopefully will fit these properly. I think the dimensions matched. So stay tuned very soon. We will be doing some sticker organization coming up. Mostly it'll be my character stickers and I think maybe script stickers. If I have a enough of these organizers. I'll also do some of my foil, but I want to see how my character stickers work out first and then we'll go from there. So that is everything that I picked up from Sugar Box stickers. The next shop is Murdoch Talks and I always have a ton of stuff from Ashley's shop because she's one of my absolute favorites and she's Canadian so everything always comes really quickly and her shipping is you know very inexpensive for Canadians so I just really appreciate that. These are, I think, two different orders that I have combined here. So I have two of the same freebie in this like pink um, foil color. It's like almost like a pinky purpley color, but it's the same freebie with a lot of her different icons. I do find these icons to be a little bit large in my opinion. Um, so I don't tend to use them or gravitate to, towards them, but they are really functional and very pretty. So that's the first freebie. And because I think one of them, she must've been in a group sale. So I have a few other shop freebies that were just included in here. Um, um, so this is Planner Monkey Co. We have Holly Lynn Co. These characters are real cute. And then this is Bidu and Co. We have this sticker party. Oh, I love this hockey one here. That is so fun. And then this is Shop or ZZ Sticker Co. Never heard of them, but really cute freebie. I love the terrazzo print in the background. And then we have Sugar Lemon Paper Co. So really fun. I always love getting these little shop samplers, but I don't tend to reach for them enough. So I need to figure out like a way of organizing them so I actually will put them to use. This I think is my favorite thing that I got in this whole order, but Ashley came out with some reading stickers, which I think is so fun. And I have these currently reading boxes, which I'm going to be starting to include in my sidebar every week, just to mark the book that I'm reading. So I picked them up in black and in silver and gold, which is, is a very pretty light gold. And then we have rose gold. And of course we have hollow. So love those. So you'll be seeing those in my plan with me is a very soon because I absolutely love them and can't wait to start using them. I've been like a really voracious reader for about the past year. I've just like totally found my love of reading again. So really excited to start incorporating those. And then I do have quite a few kits here. I think I have four to share with you. So I'll walk through this first one in a little bit more detail and then we'll kind of skim through 
through the other ones. But this is called Campfire and I absolutely love this artwork and the colors. I think this is such a fun theme for the summer. I haven't gone camping in years, so hopefully Mike and I will make a trip out this year. We'll probably have to plan something soon, but I love these full boxes. It's so cute. This scene here, just like looking out over the water, I think is so fun. And then always love a good food box there as well. So in your format, you have nine full boxes and then you have three labels down here at the bottom. Here you get a better picture of the various like colors that are included in the kit and really different, like really pretty for summer. Sorry if you guys can hear Daisy playing with the blinds. I apologize. I uh, can't really edit it out though, unfortunately. So this has changed a little bit since the last time I've even used one of her kits. So now instead of having seven heart checklists, you only have four up here. Then you have your circle icons, which I believe those are the same, but then these icons down here have changed. So they're more of just like an outline in the color of the kit. They're a little bit smaller, which I definitely appreciate. And she's taken away any of the like word icons. Um, so that's really cool. And then we have various boxes down here. You have some labels, uh, ones with like the little colored out spot and then just like the line labels and then we have some third boxes and half boxes down at the bottom I love that she has a mix of like patterned ones and just like plain colored ones as well then up here you have your heart checklist uh, your ombre heart checklist your weekly sidebar I love that she has like different sizes of these boxes as well this one's a little bit more rectangular and then you have the square ones your day covers and a habit tracker on this next sheet, you have an extra full box, and then you have another ombre heart checklist, and then another weekly sidebar, lots of extra boxes along here, and you have some like squared off ones and some rounded ones, and then your movie marquee. This next page has your glitter headers, word headers, and then some more boxes and labels. Another one here with more boxes, tons of little things, and you don't have like the icons here, so you can use them for anything. Some more rounded boxes, and then these are all washi strips along the bottom. And then on the next sheet, you have even more full boxes. And I think these are all unique ones. Okay, so this is like a variation on this girl. And then you have a variation here. And then these two look like, oh no. I was gonna say, I was like, these are brand new boxes, but this is like a variation here. And then I guess maybe if it's like a certain um, holiday or something, you might wanna use the sparklers instead of the s'mores. So that's fun that you have some various options there. And then the last sheet here, you have even more boxes. You can tell there are just a ton, a ton, a ton of boxes uh, for your spread. You also have your weekend banner, some flags, and then some of the uh, deco pieces here as well, which are really fun and cute. So this is like the full kit. I will mention that you can get the full kit. I think there's a mini kit option, or you can just buy sheets a la carte and pick the ones that you want to make your own kit which I think is really fun and not a lot of shops do that anymore so I think it's really fun that Ashley still offers a lot of flexibility with her shop um, she also has like a matte paper I always buy glossy because that's my preference but if you are prefer more of a matte paper uh, she does have that option as well so I just think I love the flexibility and you can use code Laura 10 to save and I do have a referral link down below in case you want to use that in said if that helps to save a little bit more money. So that was the first kit. Let's quickly go through the next three, but as I mentioned, I'll probably cover them off a little bit quicker. The next kit I have to share with you is Breakfast Love, and I think this is so gorgeous. I knew as soon as I saw this color palette, I was like, have to have it. I just think it's so fun, it's so pretty. It's a very like anytime, just, you know, make you feel happy kind of kit. So love this, love all of the various food elements. This girl is so pretty, I love her outfit. So just knew I had to have that. And I will comment that I think the format for this kit is a little bit of an 
older version. So you might notice a few like slight differences versus the campfire kit that I just showed, but I believe campfire is like the latest version of the kits. So again, this is a full kit though. So you have your nine full boxes and your labels. Then we have kind of your base kit sheet. So you can see here, this is where you have like all of your heart checklists and then the icons are a little bit of that like older style. Love these date covers, that's like really fun. It looks like you just kind of drew them in with a pencil crayon, so much fun. And then we have your extra full box here. So more of like your functional pieces with all of your boxes. And then the glitter header page and then all of the little things and washi strips, all of the extra fashion people. She's really cute too. I like that outfit. And then the bottom washi page with all of the deco here. So that is the breakfast love kit. And these colors are just so up my alley. I was gonna say, it feels like it matches my nails, but it doesn't match my nails at all. More of like a pastel version here. So love that. And then the next kit that I have is probably a kit I wouldn't normally buy. It's very soft, very muted, but I just thought it was really pretty. And I sometimes like to have a deep, clean week. This is called Clean Talk, which I think is really funny that like cleaning has taken off on TikTok. But anyway, it just is that like goals. And I find like having a kit that's like really motivational to like clean my house is exactly what I need because I hate cleaning. So anyway, we've got this like really pretty like muted pastel kit. I think this is so gorgeous. So again, this is a bit of an older format, but this is still the full kit version. So you have all of our like functional stuff. We have the extra full box and boxes, the glitter headers. Oh, these colors are so pretty. This feels very spring, like a spring cleaning kit, which I don't think I have room in my lineup this year. So I'll probably have to save this, maybe even for a winter spread. These colors lean very cool, so maybe I could do it in the winter, but spring cleaning definitely feels like the right time, but we'll see. You know, I'm not married to using any kind of kit at any time of the year, so we can play around, but that is Clean Talk. And then the last kit that I have to share with you is called Meadow. Again, just absolutely gorgeous artwork. I believe this is Kittenish Jess, and I just think it's so pretty. Love this, very springy, like springy going into summer. And again, these colors, I've just never really seen anything like it. So I think this is really fun. And I really feel like this leans towards using hollow, maybe even like a lavender hollow. So I love to have kits that like lean to different foil colors so I can have a variety. And I believe I picked this kit up a la carte and kind of made my own kit. It might be like the mini kit and I added on the glitter headers. I can't really remember how I did it, but I know this isn't the full kit version, but I just know I needed to have this. So I decided, you know, I'm not gonna buy the full one, but I will still buy it to use in my planner. So love that, that is Meadow. And that is everything that I have from Murdoch Talks. Like I mentioned, you can use code Laura10 to save or use my referral link if that helps you to save a little bit more money. But that's everything from Murdoch Talks. Next up, we have another favorite shop. This is Miri Me Bell, and her shop is currently closed. I think she's still doing her monthly subscriptions, but other than that, her shop is closed right now uh, so that she can take a maternity leave. Uh, but as I mentioned, this is an order from quite a while ago. So we'll start off with just the freebie here in the gold foil, but definitely a very usable freebie. So I love that. And this is actually kind of hard for me to go through this mail um, because I'd actually purchased this kit specifically to mark my cat's birthday. And shortly after ordering this, my cat did pass away. Um, so it is, you know, hard to look at this kit because it does really remind me of Wilma. Um, I don't know if I will use this kit or not. Just, you know, I had a black cat and so a lot of these elements really remind me of her but I just don't know if I'm gonna be using this or not, to be honest with you. So 
oh, it is such a beautiful, like fun kit and it is, you know, something I would really love to use, but I think just the memory of Wilma is, it makes it difficult for me to want to use this kit. So um, I will walk through the format though here. So um, as I mentioned, this is called Kitty. Uh, we do have our eight full boxes. I think this fashion girl is really cute. I love her glasses. And then we have four half boxes along the top. Then we have two alternate fashion girls up here, as well as an ombre heart, um, like, or sorry, not ombre heart. This is just like a weekly check box and then just like an ombre blank uh, box here. And then you have your foiled bottom washi and I chose to get it in silver. I thought the silver really complemented the like cooler tones in here. And I love that you have like an animal print or cheetah print um, bottom washi and paired with the bows. I think that's really pretty. Then on the next page, you have a variety of boxes from like half boxes, third boxes, quarter boxes, and then labels and little things. And then along the bottom, you have patterned circles and then some patterned squares. And you do have your habit trackers on this sheet as well. This sheet's really fun. You do have your day covers along the top. They are not foiled, they are just like black font. Your headers, however, are foiled. And I love that she's added in here a mix of like confetti headers and bow headers. So you have a variety there. And then you have some washi strips and then lots of uh, options for flags, some little like hexagons and some circles here as well. This next page is also foiled, but only on these kind of like scallops and then the extra like circle um, layering shapes and then your squares as well. Never know what to call these because I always want to call them boxes, but they're circles. So I get really confused. Anyway, you have lots of other um, box shapes here at the top um, from like half box, quarter box and labels. And again, these are not foiled, but they are all patterned, which is really gorgeous. And then your final page here, we have our um, tall fashion box, which you do get to pick, I believe the hair color um, for both this girl as well as her. Um, I did choose brown because I have brown hair, so I just wanted uh, to match my hair color. Uh, and then we do have some deco and some like functional items. And then you do have some scripts, your movie marquee and your date dots as well, which are really fun. So that is the full kit from Mary Me Bell and that is called Kitty. And then the next one that I picked up, I actually have this artwork from another shop, but I really loved the way Miri pulled it together. And I just think this is such a beautiful kit. I really, really love the colors. You did get to choose the fashion girl here, um, but for this one, I chose blonde. I just thought she was really pretty. And then the next page here, uh, you do have like the gorgeous like row of flowers. Um, and then this girl looking out over the flowers. And for this kit, I did choose her champagne foil which is so pretty i love how like soft and muted it is and i think it really goes with these um like purples and pinks quite well so same format but like i mentioned just a different foil color and oh i love these colors this is so up my alley i was thinking of maybe using this um for mother's day but i haven't committed yet so we'll see I just think all the really like soft purples and pinks remind me of my mom. So I might choose to do that. So that is called a Fleur. Um, so as I mentioned, Mary's shop is on maternity leave right now, um, but definitely stay tuned. I will of course announce any of her updates uh, and I am on her PR team. So you can use code Laura15 when her shop opens up. Uh, but I do believe if you're interested in her monthly subscriptions, you can still do that. So I will have her shop linked down below in case that interests you. Next up, we have a Miss and Meow. And of course, we always have to acknowledge Regina's amazing packaging. This vellum envelope is so gorgeous. I love the addition of this little stamp up here that does say Miss and Meow on it. It's just so pretty. So let's get into this. I did pick up a few kits. I went to France in June and I felt like Regina had a lot of kits that gave me very like European vibes. So I wanted to pick up a few just to test out and maybe use for the week that I was in France. Uh, but I also picked up a few little functional goodies too. So we'll start with this kit here. Actually, let's start out with the freebies. I think that makes sense. 
So first up, we have this freebie here, which has her like custom doodles, which are all so pretty. And then we have some of these scallop circles and these swatches. And this is foiled in gold, which is really pretty. Then this looks to be another freebie here with some like dangling bows. I love these garlands. Those are so pretty. And then you have some of these jewels. I think that's really fun, really pretty and functional. And then this was the PBC freebie. So we have all of her gorgeous Polaroid boxes with all of these really fun summery elements on them. And again, this is foiled in gold. And then this next item, I think these are so gorgeous, but they're very intimidating to me because they are so dainty. These are the String Lights Teardrop, and it even says, please handle with care. So Regina knows just how it, like delicate these are. So really stunning. And again, like I thought I would layer these above maybe my date covers or along the bottom washi. So we have the silver, the rose gold, and then the gold as well. So love those, but again, I'm very intimidated because they do seem extremely delicate. So first up, this kit is called Lilac Fields, and I actually got this not for France, but for, um, I'm going on a picnic in a lavender field, and I know li uh, lilacs and lavender are different, but the vibes of like all the purples just felt really appropriate for a lavender field picnic. So love this. This is foiled in silver. It is so gorgeous. The foiling is absolutely perfect. And just like these dainty elements. I love that. It's so pretty. It's not like overboard or in your face, but definitely the foil makes an impact. So really pretty. This girl here is stunning. Love that. And then you do have some scallop headers along the bottom here. For the next page, you have your foiled date covers. I love all of these new icons. I definitely want to pick up some of her icons uh, just to have in my collection, but I love that these specifically match the kit and they are, of course, foiled. Then you have two half boxes, your header is down here. These are like a double line foil, which is really pretty. Then you have more of your confetti and then the single bow, and then a few more of these scallop headers down here. The next page again is foiled and I love the scallop circles with the foiling, so beautiful. Some various like swatch sizes, some of these square boxes, more like rectangular ones. You have labels, quarter boxes, and then your third boxes. And then you have these like lace dividers here along the bottom as well. And then the final page here, you have your bottom washi, really pretty like floral pattern. And then I love the simplicity of just like the single like line across the solid washi. Are these stickers here? Oh yeah, these are really cute. I don't know if I've ever noticed these before. These are new, but you have almost like a dot divider there, which is really fun. So it looks like you get four of those. And I think they're all the same size, but I could be wrong. I'm not very good at judging. Uh, and then we have our habit trackers here, just kind of like weekly sidebar boxes. Um, a few of these like flags. I think these are flags. Yeah, you can see that it's cut out. It's a flag. And then we have some of these little like cloud, I don't know what you call these, but they're really cute. And they're all foiled. So that is the Lavender Fields kit. Very beautiful. Oh, and I will say the quote box here says, I must have flowers always and always. I love that. The next kit that I have is called Summer Dusk. And I thought this was so pretty. It reminded me of a kit that she released last year, um, but I really loved this. This like foiling of the girl here is absolutely incredible. It's so detailed and intricate, but I love that. Then we have like some gorgeous florals in here. And I will just mention this is in rose gold foiling in case that isn't coming across clearly, but I think you can see it quite 
quite well in, in this girl up here at the top, but just gorgeous full boxes. So like pretty and delicate and soft. Like it has a very like watercolor vibe to it. So this is definitely giving me August vibes. Originally I was thinking of using this for France because I was in the South of France. So I thought this like beachy vibe really fit it, but I think I'm, you know, feeling this maybe for August, but I'll go through the kit format again here. Not sure. Were these in the last kit that I looked at? Now, of course, I've already put it back in its cello, but I'm curious because I didn't notice that in the lilac field. No. Okay. So this must be like a newer edition. Looks like we have a few little swatches along the top here and then this additional swatch here, which maybe you could use that for like a this week or something along the lines. We have our icons. Looks like the rest of the format is, you know, fairly similar, um, but just the addition of those little swatches is quite fun. Oh, uh, this bottom washi is so pretty. I love the scallop lace. That is like totally up my alley, layered above the watercolor elements. That is so pretty. And I love the florals here. The tones of like these like peachy oranges and yellows, I just think that is so stunning and feels very like end of summer to me. So that is the kit. And for this kit, I did decide to pick up the extra floral sheet that went with it. I haven't been doing a ton of like floral deco, but I just thought the florals in this kit were so beautiful. I love the elements of like the beach things. Like you have a bikini, the chair, the umbrella, the little beach bag. I just think that's so fun. So I wanted to have the florals to use uh, for this kit as well. All right, so one last kit here. This is called a strawberry patch. So this kit again gave me like really pretty soft summer vibes and I really love it. It does I guess have like a bit of a picnic element to it which I didn't really you know pick up on initially but you've got like that gingham pattern which feels very picnic-y. You've got like a picnic spread here so I guess I just didn't really notice that originally but it's so pretty and I really love the florals in this kit as well but I was thinking initially for using this while I was in Nice but I'm still so undecided. So anyway, love this. I love the little foiled berries here. That's super cute. And it looks like this is the same format as that lilac fields where it doesn't have the swatches up at the top. Like look how soft and gorgeous these colors are. Ugh, this feels perfect for June. But again, I just don't know if for my trip to France, I just wanted to have the perfect kit. So we'll have to see. And I don't believe I mentioned it, but this is in gold foil. I love that I have one in silver, one in rose gold, and one in gold. Or yeah, I have all of the foil colors. So that's really fun. Uh, this bottom washi is too cute. I love the little berry patterns and like only a few of them are foiled. I think that's such a nice touch. That's so pretty. And then I did decide to pick up the florals to match this kit as well. Like I mentioned, I just think this colors, the florals are so pretty. And I love that she added in little like berry pieces as well. I think that's so cute. So we'll definitely be pulling that in. Again, you might see this for the week that I'm in France, but still not 100% sure. So that is a strawberry patch. And I do have a referral link to Miss and Meow as well. And that will be in the description box below. Next up, we have an order from the Pretty Pink Co. And this is another Canadian shop. I think this might be one of my first orders that I've made from her shop. And this was a $2 Tuesday, which I love her envelopes too. She's got that gorgeous like vellum envelope, which is so fun. And then they write your name on the back of it, which is so fun. So it did come with this journaling cards, a really nice like soft matte touch journaling card. So we'll definitely be pulling that in. And then this was an Easter $2 Tuesday. So if that doesn't tell you how long I've had this, then I don't know what will. But I really needed to haul this because I've caught up to Easter in my memory keeping spread or my memory keeping planner so i need to film my easter spread very soon 
So let's, you know, maybe zoom in here a little bit so you can actually see this stuff. It is very dainty and very beautiful. So because I bought this for a specific spread, everything in here is gold because that's just like the color that I needed. Um, but first up, we have our freebie, which is so pretty, so functional. I just can't get over how like tiny and dainty all of these items are. So you have some like floral deco pieces, some of these like dividers, some garlands, and then some of these like larger um, foil florals at the bottom as well. And I did use my friend Alyssa's code. So you can use code Alyssa15 to save. Because this was a $2 Tuesday, I didn't save any money, but I got her freebie by putting her name in the notes to sell her. And I do believe they're revamping all of their freebies. So yeah, super pretty. Okay, so all as I mentioned, everything here is for an Easter spread. So these are the garden dividers, and I got them in gold because that was what matched my kit. But these are really pretty. I thought, you know, maybe putting them along um, the bottom of the column just to add some extra, like, foil and kind of close off the column. I thought that would be fun. And then I have the bunny garlands, which are just so cute. I love that you have some that are, like, hanging down with the egg and then some with just the bunny here really good like use of space for such a tiny sheet and only two dollars canadian like you get a lot on here and then we got the easter clusters which come with a mix of like the bunny um facing head on or the side profile of the bunny some are flowers and then some are more of an egg shape which i think is really fun and then we have the easter strings 1.0 so again a mix of like the bunnies and the eggs and then we have the Easter dot dividers, which are so cute. And you have the bunny facing in different ways. And then we have Easter strings 2.0. I just thought these were a little bit more like intricate. So that's why I wanted to have those just to have something different. And then we have the Easter circles as well, which again, really cute. And I like that you have a mix of like the eggs and the bunny. So love those. And that is my order from the Pretty Pink Co. Oh, I'm lying. I actually have two more pieces. I forgot I had these at the side. Um, but I did get the Easter garland washi which has a mix of all of the different like Easter elements, the bunny, the flowers, the eggs. And then I did get the garden washi strip as well, which I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to use both of these, maybe one at the top of the spread and one at the bottom of the spread, but hopefully I will get to use both of those. I think it's going to be an extra special Easter spread. So that is everything from the Pretty Pink Co. Next up, we have an order from Sticker Guru, and this is actually a new shop to me. I've never bought anything from Sticker Guru before, but they had a really a big sale, and I've been having my eye on their shop for a while, so when a good sale comes up, it, I just knew it was time to jump on it. And again, I wanted to point out their packaging because I thought this envelope was gorgeous. We have like the, the pink envelope with the rose gold foiling, which is so fun, and then it's more more of this like scallop folder type which I just think is so fun so I love that and I'll show you what I picked up oh I didn't even realize we've got my name in here too which is like a nice little touch all right I picked up a few different things so I think there might be some freebies in here so we'll start with that so I did use Emily 15. I think I just put her name in the notes to sell her because they were having a sale. I don't think it got me like a discount, but at least I got to see Emily's freebie. So you have a few different like scripts and like a few spider webs, which is fun for Halloween or I guess anytime if you wanted to use them. But I loved these heart uh, header overlays. I thought those were so cute and like whimsical. So I love that. And then this is another freebie that came with my order. So perfect for spring with all of these like botanical pieces. The little bird on the branch is super cute too. And then I don't think these were freebies. I think I ordered these. Yeah, okay, I ordered these. Um, but I decided to pick up her happy birthday scripts. I know that this is a script in my collection that I'm running very low on. So I decided to pick it up in all three foils. So we have the gold the silver and rose gold. Beautiful. I love her rose gold too. It's a very like coppery rose gold. So really pretty. 
All right, now what I picked up, first up, I love page flags. I use these in my planner all the time in terms of like my actual functional planner just to mark my page. Sometimes I'll use them within like books that I'm reading if I wanna remember like a certain passage or a certain line. So I use these all the time. So I decided to pick up this one called The Boss. It's more of like a dusty rose color. And then we have silver lining, which is more of a, a gray. And then finally we have almond, which is more of a creamy yellowy color. So those are the page flags. Again, very just like functional for me. And then I decided to pick up two kits, which I did not need any more kits, but these were just so pretty and the sale was so good. I decided I needed them. Let me zoom out here a little so you can see them better. Sorry, having camera issues, but now I think we have the full kit in view. I also love that she has these cellos that don't have like the stickiness on them. So you can just pull them right out, which is very handy because I don't know how many times I have ruined stickers just because of the cello bag. So first up, we have Accomplish Big Plans. This is called New Beginnings. I think Accomplish Big Plans is like sticker gurus, like shop saying, I think. Um, that sounds familiar to me anyway. Uh, but the kit name is New Beginnings. So I thought this was really pretty, really soft, fun for uh, maybe spring, but I also really liked that this had kind of nods to, you know, maybe a wedding or an anniversary. Like it felt very lovey to me. So that is why I got it because I've been looking for the perfect anniversary kit. Um, my one year marriage anniversary is coming up this year and I just, you know, have been hunting down the perfect kit for it. So I thought this really spoke to, you know, some lovey-dovey elements. So I decided to pick this up. So we'll go through the format. At first up, you have your nine full boxes, and these are foiled, which is so fun. Not all of the full boxes are foiled. I think this one here might be the only one that doesn't have foiling on it, but I think that's okay. I think the other full boxes have enough foiling for the whole thing. On the next sheet here, you have your washi strips, which again, um, you know, it's an interesting size. I feel like they're both the 15 millimeter uh, washi strips, which you don't see too often anymore. Normally you have like one bigger one and one skinnier one. So it's nice that these are more symmetrical. Um, and then we just have like some few confetti pieces on like the floral one. And then you have this really pretty scalloped one here. And then along the side here, you do have headers. They are all like a confetti foil. And as I mentioned, or did I mention? I'm not sure if I mentioned, but these are rose gold, which is really pretty. I think rose gold and pink is such a nice uh, combo. And then you have some word headers here and those are also foiled. On the next page, you have all of your various like boxes and layering pieces. So you have a few up here along the top that are like squares or like a notched corner box. Then you have your labels, third boxes, um, quarter boxes, half boxes, and then these like vine scallops along the bottom. So pretty. I love that you have a mix of like different kinds of foil too. Some are like a double line, some have the little bow, some are like these string lights. So really pretty. And then the last page here, you have your day covers, uh, two bill dues, some labels, lots of different like layering shapes here with like scallop corners, flags, hexagons, arrows, your weekly sidebar, and then your bow uh, list here, two habit trackers, and then a few bow checklists up along the top as well. So a really good like four page kit with lots included and all four pages are foiled. So really awesome. And I think the price was really good. I can't remember how much these were, but I think they were just like on sale for a crazy, crazy price. So the next one we have here is called Balance. I'm obsessed with pink and the fact that this had so many like pinks and purples and peaches, it just like felt really feminine and really pretty. So wanted to have this. The full box here says protect your peace, which I think is a really nice saying. And I just love all of the rose gold elements in here. The foiling again, really beautiful, nice and dainty. And all of the full boxes are foiled except this one up here in the corner. 
So I think the format is very similar here. Um, just some like variety in terms of the way things are foiled and some elements like that. But the format overall is very similar. Gorgeous. And then this is the uh, last page here. Again, super pretty. I love that wiggle there. You can see all of the rose gold elements so well. And again, the rose gold just like really pops with these vibrant colors. So that is everything that I picked up from a sticker guru. And as I mentioned, like I did get Emily's freebie. So I think her code is Emily15. Yeah, Emily15. If you want to save, uh, that will be listed in the description box below, even though it's not my code. But I think it's always nice to share the love and, you know, save some money at the end of the day. So that is everything from a sticker guru. The last shop that I have to share with you all is Scribble Prints Co. I have four months of mystery kits to share with you guys. I can't believe it has been that long since I've shared uh, the SPC mysteries. So these are pretty old. Um, like this one is the March 2022 kit. So I'm hoping that I'm not spoiling anything for anyone because you can't get these kits anymore. And I hope that if you are a subscriber, you've received yours by now. Um, so hopefully I'm not spoiling anything for anyone. Um, like I mentioned, none of these kits are available anymore, but I do know that people will post in the SPC buy, sell, trade group on Facebook quite often. You'll see um, the mystery kits pop up there. So if you're looking to get your hands on any of them, I would say that's probably your best bet to try. So this is the March 2022 mystery, as I mentioned. It has like a very 90s grunge theme to it. I don't know if this is like totally up my alley, but I think the artwork is amazing. And the 90s were definitely a really fun era. So I think a lot of this is even like coming back into style now, which is kind of funny. And my bedroom definitely looked like this with all the posters up on the wall. So really fun artwork, really fun colors too. I don't know when I will use this kit or even if I will use this kit but I think it's really fun and pretty and I think it's fun to you know try a different theme like I don't know if I've ever had like a 90s themed kit and like 90s leaning towards more of the like grunge side of it versus the like really poppy you know whatever side of the 90s so there we go this is again um, like a full size kit here that I'm subscribed to. So you have tons of boxes, tons of labels, um, tons of like extra pieces. So that's the full kit and the foil pairing here. I'm pretty sure this is a black. It's so hard to tell. It's either like a black or a navy. Oh, I have no idea. I feel like it's black, but again, like I honestly don't know. Um, but for the mysteries, you generally get the same kind of foil um, bundle here. So you have your full box overlays. So you have six on each sheet, and then you do have your header overlays as well. Then you get two pages of bougie boxes, which is perfect. I think this would be really fun to bring in. And then you have your scripts and icons. And then finally your bottom washi overlays. And then these like bow header overlays, a few of these like sparkly bits and your date numbers as well. So that is the March 2022 mystery. And then of course we have April as well, which April I feel like is more my vibe and definitely getting into the right time of year to be using a kit like this this is like a mermaid um i don't know like mermaid beauty kit because you've got like a lot of like makeup elements which i think are really fun um again this artwork is so stunning but i just love how soft and muted it is that has definitely been my vibe lately and something i've been gravitating towards so we have our full boxes you have the tall box here with the dolphin um some half boxes square boxes your ombre heart checklist all of your really cute deco here your page flags your weekly sidebar boxes your glitter headers page all of your rounded boxes and icons, your little things and like solid, washi, etc. And then the same with all of your patterned, an extra full box. And this bottom washi is quite pretty with all of the mermaid scales. And then your date covers, 
extra fashion boxes. I love that she's like pulling in an extra color for the kit as well, which is really fun. This like almost like a muted mustard yellow. And then finally we have some extra full boxes here, an extra fashion girl, and then your bottom washi. And for this kit, I absolutely love this foil pairing because it is lavender hollow, which is one of my favorite like all time fun foils. And I love the pattern here with some like tropical flowers, the monstera leaves. I think that's so pretty. So same here, we have like two sheets of the full box overlays, two sheets of the bougie boxes, your icons and scripts. And then I love this with the floral bottom washi and then the, the different like tropical leaves. What is this like a hibiscus flower, I think? Um, just really gorgeous. And then your date dots, of course. So that is the April 2022 mystery. And we still have May and June. I, for some reason, I thought this said July, but it's May and June. So for the May mystery, we've got more of like a cottage type vibe here. So I really love these full boxes. And I think I mentioned earlier in the video that I really want to go camping this year. But if we don't go to camping, I really want to go to a cottage or like rent an Airbnb on the lake, something along those lines. And I think this is the perfect vibe for that. So you've got like a really pretty double box with the cottage. But then I also like this one with the deck that kind of overlooks the water. So pretty. And then we've got our tall box here with the fashion girl. These colors are so pretty and not something that I typically use for summer, um, but really fun to pull in some different, um, you know, color themes here. Love all of these patterns. This one, it probably isn't like my favorite, but the other three I think are really abstract and fun. The bottom washi is just like a simple uh, wave pattern. And then we've got more of the fashion boxes, the extra color, some more variations here. Love this bikini. Oh my gosh, I wish I could wear something like that. And then the foil bundle is silver, which I think is like the perfect choice for this kit. So your two pages of your full box overlays, two pages of the bougie boxes, and then your icons and scripts, which you have like such a good variety here. And then the um, bottom washi is your bows and the confetti, and then your special headers over there as well. So that is the May 2022 mystery. And I think this is actually, I've saved the best for last because June 2022 was such a banger. Like I love this kit so much. I'm really glad that it's a mystery, but I probably would have purchased this even if it came to shop um, because I just love the artwork so much and I love the colors too. I feel like I had a kit maybe a couple of years ago that I bought from Murdoch Talks, which had a really similar vibe with the like ice cream shop. And I loved the way that that spread turned out. So this kit just reminded me of that. But again, just to a whole other level because this is so stunning. The various like ice cream flavors here, the little like Sunday bar, the fashion girls, the milkshakes, like it's all so beautiful. And the colors are just like extra fabulous. So I am in love with this kit and cannot wait to use it uh, she's even got like extra like you know what do you call it like the glitter stroke in there of the gold which is really pretty I think gold was an interesting choice for this kit I probably would have leaned towards silver or maybe even like a hollow but I think gold is really fun I love the like sprinkle bottom washi this double box here is amazing but I guess you don't have to use it as a double box you could definitely split these up maybe put a quote over top of it your extra fashion boxes. This is too cute here. And you've got like an ombre pattern to the bottom washi as well. And then even more full boxes. Like you have so many full box options with this kit. And as I mentioned, we have a gold foil. And this is more in that like confetti pattern. So here are your full box overlays and your glitter header overlays, your two pages of bougie, your 
oh my gosh that's so pretty i just got like totally like blinded by this foil uh, but you have your scripts and icons and then your bottom washi and header overlays so that is it from spc i actually think my july mystery is out for delivery today which is kind of funny but it's just gonna have to say or wait till next month uh because this haul is already way too long i'm sure but that is everything from scroll prince co that is it for my haul today i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and please stay tuned i will be posting hauls much more regularly moving forward but i hope that you enjoyed today's video and that maybe you saw some new shops um and don't forget all of my coupon codes and referral links will be listed in the description box below i hope that you are all doing well and i will talk to you very very soon bye